Welcome back to Strange Things from Across the Pond. Today we shall uh, have a cup of tea. Right, so what have we got here? Well, this is, well, as you can see here, twisted tea. Hard iced tea. Now, I'm sure you can all guess what hard iced tea means. It's got booze in it. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the packaging. Uh, so, yeah, we've got made with real brewed tea. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. You can tell this is, this is American. Tea is quite a novelty to uh, to Americans. Um, they much prefer coffee because reasons. Um, so, yeah, I'll have a look. Oh, yeah, original. Uh, apparently there are other flavours. This is just the tea flavour. Hard iced tea with a twist. Excellent. And we've got in this packet 12, 12 fluid ounce cannon, cans. I might say cannons. But I don't know. Cans. Again, American freedom units. What will you do without freedom? Oh, freedom! 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 What's he talking about? Right, what else have we got on it? Nice carry handle at the top. That's quite useful. Uh, that just says the same again. And so does that. And oh, uh, oh, and there's a competition. But what's it? Well, oh wait, no, that's not a competition. That's I don't know what's going on there. It's all blurry. They look to be. They've got helmets on. They're either skiing or mining. And these people are posing for some sort of picture. Okay, all right. Anyway, all right. Let's open it up and see what the uh, what we've got inside. Let's just fish out one can, shall we? There we go. Right out of the way. All right. Here we go. So. Yeah. So same again. Made with real brewed tea. Twisted tea. Hard iced tea. Original flavour. Excellent. No carbonation. Now that is rather obvious. I mean, you get these cans out. These are about the same size as a Coke can, normal drinks can. Here's a can of Mountain Brew next to it. As you can see, they're about the same. There's maybe a millimetre or two difference in it. Not much, though. But, yes, but no camera. That is immediately obvious because I don't know if this will come across on the camera. They are squishable. If this was beer or coke or something like that, the can will be hard because it's pressurised. But, yeah, there's no pressure in this. I don't know, I've managed to put a, a dent in it just by squeezing it. All right, so what does it say here? Apparently this is Brittany B and Jamie B. Howell, New Jersey. Be a little twisted. Okay. I don't get why these pictures, they're sort of weirdly out of focus and the colour's all strange on it. But whatever. Oh, right, here we go. Submit your own twisted photo at twistedtea.com. Maybe I'll send them a copy of this video. Government warning. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. And two, consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. It, it might well do, yeah. If you crash your car or your machine, that can result in some pretty serious health problems. And, oh, that just says copyright 2021 Twisted Tea Brewing Company, Cincinnati. Mm, okay. No ingredients listed. I'm not missing anything here. No, no ingredients listed at all. Just says, oh, here we go. Malt beverage with tea and natural flavours. Hmm, okay. Right, let's get a glass and we'll try it out, shall we? Now, it seemed only fitting that, uh, given that this is tea, that we put it in a tea cup or a glass mug, rather, so that you can still see what it what it looks like. Now, have a listen to this. I'll bring this a bit closer. Oh, get me. Yeah, 
Did you catch that? Hardly any hiss as I opened it. A little bit of a hiss that was there. It was probably just down to me squeezing on this thing earlier. But yeah, it's not carbonated. So you open it and the only real noise is the noise of the metal being pierced. No hiss. Hmm. Don't hear that very often. Most things that come in a can are carbonated. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Right, so, out of the can, that looks like tea. If you put that in front of me, and apart from it not steaming, because of course it isn't hot, I would say that looks like a cup of tea, which I suppose it is, really. So, yeah, I mean, it's got... I'll move that a bit closer to the camera. See, it seems to be forming something of a head on top of it, which is interesting. Tea doesn't normally do that. But then again, I haven't been able to work out what's actually in this. It's obviously tea with something in it, booze. It's 5% alcohol by volume. It doesn't say what's actually in it. I might have to look that up. All right, let's give it a sniff test. Mm. Yep, so smells like iced tea. So, I'll give it another sniff. Yep, yeah, smells just like iced tea. Um, anything like the, uh, the Lipton iced tea that you can buy literally anywhere here in the UK. It's, um, yeah, it's tea without milk. I mean, if, you're, if you drink tea on a semi-regular basis, you'll know roughly what that smells like. With sort of hints of lemon and live, lime, maybe a little hint of mint smell in there as well again just like any other iced tea that you can buy out there so yeah time for a taste test of them okay I have to say, taste-wise, initially, when you first take it into your mouth, giggity, 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 tastes just like iced tea. You've got the, like I just described, the tea, bit of lemon, bit of lime, maybe a slight hint of, of mint coming through there as well. Yeah, and then as you as you swallow it, that's that doesn't change. But now, afterwards, the aftertaste, definitely booze. It's a sort of slightly sour it's some sort of spirit that's in this because it's very aromatic i can not just taste the alcohol but i can also sort of smell it as well as it's evaporating in my mouth what is that let's have another swig that's nice i have to say i love tea and I do really like iced tea as well, especially on a on a very hot day. And that alcohol, it, it is adding something to it. It's not changing the flavour. I am drinking iced tea, like I've done many a times before. You know, like you can get it. The nearest place I can think of I can get Lipton iced tea is a supermarket. It's very nice. I like it. But that alcohol is adding something. Hmm. We're going to have to look at what's in it, because it's going to bother me. So, yeah, it turns out, after a quick bit of Googling, where it says on here, malt beverage with tea and natural flavours, that is literally it. That is the ingredients list. So, yeah, the uh, the tea part in the middle, yep, that is tea, just straight up black leaf tea. Natural flavours is, um, yeah, the lemon and the lime that we can taste coming through on it. Malt beverage, that is literally it. It's just malt, mostly barley. Kind of similar to, to beer, but they're not letting it turn fully into beer. They're literally just making the alcohol for it. So it's um, 
yes, yeah, a similar type of ethanol as to what you can find in beer. Yeah, I was looking for a particular flavour. It turns out, yeah, there isn't one. Well, there is one. It's it's malt, but hmm. I'm gonna have another swig though. This is nice. That's quite a big swig. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. Because the initial flavour is just tea and nothing else. It's easy to gulp this down. I imagine if I had this nicely refrigerated ice cold on a hot day that would not be lasting long at all and i would probably end up shit faced <laughs> let's top it up oh i do love a good cup of tea mm. i suppose that kind of explains as well if it is similar to beer explains why we're getting a head on it or at least a partial head because it's not full beer it's just beer like mm. Let's have another swig. I can see me having more than one can of this tonight. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Alright, so that concludes this episode of Strange Things from Across the Pond. Now this, Twisted Tea. Yeah, quite strange. I've never seen it quite like this here in the UK. I mean, we have beer, we have booze, obviously. We invented it. Well, we didn't, but I like to think we did. <coughs> and of course, we have iced tea. But I have yet to see here in the UK the two mixed together. At least not in a retail packaged product like this. You know, you may be able to get it in a, in a bar or something, some fancy bar in London and remortgage your house to pay for it. But, yeah, quite uh, quite happy with that. Mm, it's very nice. I highly recommend, if you manage to get your hands on it, that you try it. Like I say, the flavour is... Well, if you like iced tea, you're going to like this. Um, and it's got that nice sort of alcohol -y aftertaste to it. Now that I'm swigging it more and knowing what it is, yeah, there are hints of, of beer flavour. Maybe that's just a bit of a confirmation bias now that I know what it is. I'm starting to to taste that. Yeah, it doesn't really taste all like beer. It doesn't taste like tea with booze in it. It's great. Mm, let's have another swig. Ah, that is nice. I think what I'm going to do is go and put the rest of this packet in the fridge. Maybe we'll serve it like it shows on there another day. I think just one tonight, though. I can see me drinking far too much of this. It does slip down so easily. Yeah. All right, we'll call that it. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching this video on Pydini doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, thank you for watching.